Um, good morning. Uh, thank you, John, and thank you, Alan, as well, for the invitation here this morning. Um, I, I, I was here a little early because the traffic was very light in Dublin this morning compared to yesterday morning. Uh, this week has been a very busy week in the construction sector for me. Uh, over the last two days, I've been presenting awards to, at, at various different functions um, for health and safety on construction sites and quarries. So uh, this morning's address is very different from the two previous um, encounters I've had because in dealing with uh, the area of digital, which is an area I think we all have a great interest in. And I was here last year as well, so it's great to be here with you all. I know you have a very comprehensive program for uh, the next two days and uh, some great keynote speakers as well. And I had got time this morning before I came in here to visit some of the stands. And it's great to see some of the innovative uh, companies, both Irish and uh, international companies here, showcasing what they're doing uh, in relation to uh, the future uh, uh, and, and the tech in the construction sector. So I just want to take an opportunity as, uh, as I'm here to thank you again and to, um, to recognize the ongoing and the tremendous work being done across the, both the public and the private sector to accelerate further rate of digital growth in our economy. Because it's, as Alan has said, if we don't embrace technology, we're going to be left behind. I often use the words out there, if we don't innovate, uh, we will evaporate. And that's exactly what will happen. Uh, if we're not prepared to take on the changes. And there are dramatic changes coming down the line. Uh, because, uh, the pace of change in digital technology is more rapid uh, now than it ever was. Uh, experts believe that um, you know, babies born today, 60% of them will be working in jobs that haven't been invented yet. And that's a reality, and it's something we have to face. Uh, and the government is facing up to that, uh, particularly in the education sector. Uh, we're working collaboratively with uh, both industry, working with the third level institutions who play a very important role in this. And, uh, and government is very conscious of this. And first of all, can I just thank CETA and Enterprise Ireland, who I work very closely with as well, and the National BAME Council of Ireland, who I believe has stepped forward and taken a leadership role. Uh, that leadership role is really important in many areas, in the transition and the adoption of digital technologies and digital processes in Ireland's construction sector. Uh, I welcome the publication of the National BIM uh, Council's Roadmap to Digital Transition. I had a brief conversation uh, with Alan and John earlier in relation to this, and um, particularly it's a very important document for the construction industry and advocates some more productive ways. And we all have to work in that area now, be productive, because we have to be more competitive out there. And of course, that improves our competitiveness and through uh, increased efficiencies uh, and drives productivity in the industry. Uh, and we are living, as I said, in a very competitive world out there uh, with the dramatic changes that's coming online. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just say to all of you um, that for this roadmap to be successful, and it's really important for any document out there, uh, we have to have, a, you know, it has to be, for to, to be successful. We need all parties, both uh, in, in the supply and in demand side, to work together and embed the four uh, key recommendations of the, the report. The recently convened construction sector working group has identified BIM as a key deliverer in the sector. The working group is an ideal forum for the recommendations of the roadmap to be debated and developed, leading to outcomes that will advance the capability of the whole of the construction sector uh, in Ireland to greater success, and not just in Ireland, as, as I've been talking to some of the contractors here this morning, but internationally as well, where we have a good reputation. We all know, uh, I think it's very conscious of the challenges that our economy faces in the coming years. And of course, technology will have a significant role in addressing that uncertainty and embracing that and enhancing um, that is, is really important, as I said, for our competitors and also helps us to be more resilient. Uh, the increased adoption of the digital processes and technology in design and construction of our building assets and infrastructure, I believe, and the government believes, is a key ingredient in addressing the challenges of the global uncertainty out there and the, what the global uh, world presents at the moment. Uh, only three weeks ago, I was in Zurich with Enterprise Ireland. It's a very different trade mission I normally do 
could bring 15 or 20 companies with me and they do the business on the, on the day or, or maybe in the final week or so. But this construction or this trade mission was very different from previous trade missions. Uh, we focused on three sectors, the construction sector, uh, construction tech, agri-tech and uh, med-tech. But just to, for the construction side of things, it was fascinating to visit uh, the futuristic home um, in Zurich and to, uh, with some Irish contractors and to see the, uh, the, the development of technology in the, is in, in the construction sector, like robots, uh, you know, working uh, within buildings where humans couldn't work and, you know, designing different curbs, all that type of thing. Also, I suppose, the whole area of 3D and, uh, you know, robotics and um, virtual reality, all these and augmented reality are very much now part of the construction sector process. In fact, I have a friend of mine that's currently building a house in County Clare, a very large house, but he's living abroad. And um, he gets pictures every day. He can actually tune in every day, 24 hours a day, uh, to the process and the, the, of the house being built uh, over, the, over the next few months. And he sends me those pictures from time to time. And it's fantastic to see that he can actually watch every part of that house where the cameras are being built uh, and maybe, you know, uh, and see exactly what, what each contractor, or each subcontractor is doing uh, for the house itself together with the drone technology where he has aerial views as well. So, you know, we've come a long way uh, and that's the future. And as other speakers have said, we've got to embrace that technology. The construction industry has always been a significant contributor to the, our national economy. We know, we know that. And we're seeing very strong growth in the sector in recent times. And of course, the growth is mainly driven by commercial activities and the pickup in housing, both in, 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 um, in, in, in the urban areas. I mean, all you have to do when you drive around Dublin is looking at the towering cranes uh, along the skyline. And this, these towering cranes are now, you know, all over the country. They're not just confined to Dublin. Uh, it's reckoned that they're, you know, as we sh get near full employment in, in the country at the moment, uh, where unemployment is shall be near to 5%, and where there's 1,000 construction jobs a month being created, and where over 17,000 uh, people have come into the construction sector since 2017. So it's really going to be a boom industry, and it's going to be a boom in the future as well, particularly in line with the government's um, plan, uh, Ireland 2040, Project 2040, where infrastructure is very much part of that, and where billions are being spent on infrastructure, both for housing, commercial buildings, and of course, as we all know at the moment, a lot of demolition work going on in Dublin at the moment, where buildings were built in the 60s and 50s are being, uh, are being, are being demolished for, uh, for, new, for, new, for new construction. And um, obviously, new technology very much forms part of, the, of, of how um, buildings are being built today. So BIM is a reality across the globe, not just here, here in Ireland, but also in the UK. One third of the overall Irish construction exports are markets beyond the UK. And it's great to see contractors, I was talking to one this morning, working in eight countries at the moment. And that's a sign of the times uh, of what's happening out there. So for companies wishing to develop an international sales further afield, the BIM capabilities, I believe, is also a very important catalyst for in supporting their efforts. Many of our uh, indigenous Irish construction businesses are now increasingly competing for work internationally and are building a, a great reputation around the globe and delivering what's really important is a world-class reputation. And a reputation is really important. Uh, and that's why Irish construction firms are doing well on the international stage at the moment because of that reputation of building world-class and first-class uh, buildings. And of course, they're doing that with the state-of-the-art tech technology that's out there at the moment. So I would like to emphasize to you all here this morning the importance of the industry's continued uh, commitment, its continued drive for increased productivity and innovation, including the greater adoption of technology uh, on off-site manufacturing, world-class lean, lean programs, and of course, a wide adop adoption of digital design and construction. Uh, and that's great to see Irish uh, uh, firms involved in that, being very much part of that as well. And I kind of say to you also that the Irish government recognises the importance of BIM and sees the benefit of how we can bring together, can bring together uh, technology, process improvements, uh, digital information to radically improve 
product, uh, our project delivery uh, outcomes and management of uh, building assets. Uh, the government is also aware uh, that supports will be necessary across the industry, including putting into place a framework of technical information, advice, and guidance, as well as promoting the uptake of BIM uh, across the wider industry. Enterprise Ireland, uh, who I work very closely with, as I said, continues to provide support and in, in, uh, incentivize funding for BIM initiatives to client companies. And they have received wide industry support in promoting BIM in Ireland and delivering their responsibilities as set out in the Construction 2020 strategy. So the work of the National BIM Council, I believe, is evidence of both how the government and the industry can work together and create a more agile and innovation-rich sector, creating jobs, the export potential out there for the industry, not just now, but also into the future uh, as well. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, can I just say I'm very confident uh, that the, the knowledge, uh, the introductions and the um, contacts being made here today and over the next few days will help facilitate the development and the new opportunities for Irish companies with new partners in Ireland and beyond. So can I wish you well over the next two days and I hope that you have a very successful conference and I look forward to uh, continuing the dialogue with BIM and with the other players in this, because as a minister responsible for the EU single digital market and data protection, it's very much in my interest to ensure that I work with all of you to ensure that Ireland continues to be a major player, not just here, not just in the UK, not just in Europe, but in, in, in many of the new emerging economies, both in the Middle East, Asia, uh, and other areas. And I'm always very proud when I travel with Irish companies abroad and trade missions of uh, the reputation. And I want to get back to that again because I think the reputation is so important. And our reputation is very much enhanced in recent times. We're the fastest growing economy in Europe. We have one of the youngest populations in Europe as well. And um, that's really important. And the focus is very much on our government now is to ensure that we educate our, um, our workers of tomorrow in the sectors that are really important, and that includes the digitalization, uh, particularly of the construction sector. Thank you very much, and I wish you well.